Welcome to this video presentation on AC500S Safety I.O. Configuration. In this video, we would like to show you briefly, how Safety I.O. Configuration is done in ABB Automation Builder Engineering Suite. As an example, we will use the DX581S Safety Digital Input-Output Module, since it contains both inputs and outputs. By default, the channels are in a not used setting, and one has to change this setting for the channels to work. Digital input channels could be configured as one channel or two channel type. In a two channel configuration, we need to choose the channel type, either as equivalent or antivalent, depending on the sensor or switch connected. Appropriate value at the discrepancy time parameter is set to capture signal mismatch between channels. If the signal mismatch situation continues beyond this value, it would be sensed by the module, and acted upon with a channel passivation or a safe state. If a sensor is powered from the module's test pulse output, then the test pulse option must be enabled. Appropriate input delay value must be set according to the input device response time, in order to prevent channel passivation. Input delay setting acts like a low-pass filter, to avoid frequent signal changes being sensed by the module. Output channels are to be enabled, and by default the detection feature is on, to meet SIL 3 requirements. If we make this detection feature off, for whatever reasons, then the software will notify that the channel will not meet SIL 3 requirements. Such setting might be needed in cases where the actuators are electronic ones. After completing the configuration of a module, an update of the value of the I parameter CRC calculation is necessary. Now we shall have a look at the configuration setting pertaining to a safety analog input module. An analog input channel could be configured as one channel for a signal range of either 0 to 20 or 4 to 20 milliampere. Channels can also be configured as two channel type for a signal range of 4 to 20 milliampere. In a two channel type input, an appropriate tolerance value should be set to avoid frequent channel passivation. User could also choose whether the minimum or maximum of these two values should be used in the safety CPU. After completing the configuration of a module, like for digital channels, an update of the value of the I parameter CRC calculation is necessary. Any changes made to the safety I.O. configuration must be downloaded to both non-safety and safety CPUs. Thank you for watching this video. And for further knowledge on our safety PLC, please do watch out for our other videos on this product.